I said, I want to know something before you go. How many people will be killed? Today, President Trump explaining his 11th hour decision to call off retaliatory strikes against Iran, telling NBC News the military had told him they were ready to go and needed a decision. They shot down an unmanned uh, drone, mm -hmm. plane, whatever you want to call it. And here we are sitting with 150 dead people that would have taken place probably within a half an hour after I said, go ahead. Yeah. And I didn't like it. I didn't think it was I didn't think it was proportionate. That decision coming just hours after top members of Congress were summoned to the Situation Room for a military and intelligence briefing on the ongoing conflict with Iran. But both Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and Speaker Nancy Pelosi said they weren't informed that a possible U.S. strike was imminent. A uh, strike of that amount of collateral damage would be very provocative. And I'm glad the president did not take that. A U.N. Security Council diplomat confirms to ABC News that the U.S. has called for closed consultations with the Security Council Monday to discuss the situation in the Middle East. Yo, I can't believe this. Oh, my gosh. An explosion has ripped through an oil refinery in Philadelphia. Fire is contained, but it's still burning. The blast happened right around 4 a.m. People could feel it for miles. We were getting reports from New Jersey. They didn't know what was going on. Turns out it was coming from this refinery. You can see that the fire trucks are still lined up outside of this refinery. There were four minor injuries to employees, which is incredible. Now, there was a shelter in place issue order that was lifted around 7 a.m. Since then, the health department and the refinery has been monitoring air quality. They say that there's no danger to the public, but they continue to monitor air quality and take those samples. The Trump administration says it plans to arrest 2,000 undocumented immigrants in a mass roundup that could start this weekend. Officials in Missouri today denied a new license for the state's only abortion clinic. But a judge's order will keep that Planned Parenthood facility open. What happened in court today is that the judge uh, left his injunction in place, which means that Missourians can continue to access the full range of reproductive health care in Missouri for now. Jesse Smollett says he wants to move on, but a new ruling could reignite the scandal. A Chicago judge deciding to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate state's attorney Kim Fox's handling of the case, which led to charges being dropped against the Empire actor. Smollett was accused of lying to police and staging on himself what he claimed was a racist and homophobic attack back in January. The judge seeking to, quote, restore the public's confidence in the integrity of our criminal justice system. Smollett has maintained his innocence. More protests in Hong Kong today over a controversial proposal to allow extraditions to mainland China. The bill is on hold, but protesters want it scrapped completely. All 11 Oregon state senators, believe it or not, have gone into hiding. State troopers have been dispatched uh, by the governor to round them up, assuming they can be found. Uh, this is to prevent the Senate from having a quorum there. I talked with one of them just now. He said he is near a body of water, but that's about all he would tell me. This is all <laughs> about a bill, a cap and trade bill aimed at fighting climate change. Republicans oppose it, saying that it's going to result in uh, job losses and problems with the economy. Supporters of the bill say those concerns are overblown. Now, these lawmakers, this is a really wild situation, face a $500 a day fine for unexcused absences. More decisions are due from the Supreme Court, but today the justices threw out a murder conviction against an African-American man on death row who was tried six times and claimed blacks were kept off the jury that convicted him. The ruling sets up a possible unprecedented seventh trial for Curtis Flowers in Mississippi. All the bricks cover a distance of about two and a half miles. New details in the largest drug bust in U.S. Customs history. Philadelphia Port Law Enforcement have now charged six people in the $1 billion cocaine bust. Authorities putting just a quarter of what was seized on display as they gave more details on the alleged smugglers. The investigation rapidly grew as HSI investigators and prosecutors developed enough evidence to charge six vessel crew members with violations of federal narcotic smuggling laws. 
time to restart them up. The Rolling Stones kicking off that postponed tour tonight in Chicago. The No Filter Tour was supposed to launch back in April, but was delayed so that frontman Mick Jagger could undergo heart surgery. Severe weather and heavy rain are hitting from the plains to the Tennessee Valley. Strong damaging wind gusts are possible with flash flooding also a concern. Watch is in effect from Oklahoma to Kentucky. On Saturday, portions of the center of the country will be in the threat zone once again with severe thunderstorms possible all the way to Atlanta and Savannah, Georgia. Rounds of heavy rain will be returning to the plains and Midwest throughout the weekend with some snow expected in the mountains west of Denver.